Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Sherry Jackson. You may at church at Calvary, and you may remember me from when I was your Sunday school teacher when you were two or three, or when I was your choir teacher when you were three and then four. Or you may be, maybe you remember me from Bible school last summer when, it, when the weather was hot and we had Bible school videos. Well, things have changed because now all the leaves have fallen and we had Thanksgiving and the weather's gotten cold. Um, what, we even had some snow. So now Christmas is coming. And you may have decorations at your house and you may be keeping or you may be helping to buy some presents for the people you love and you may be looking forward to Santa Claus coming in a few weeks but the most special thing about Christmas is that God sent Jesus his son to us and Christmas is Jesus's birthday Jesus is God's son and Jesus loves us so first I have a song that we can learn. It is about Christmas being a happy time. So the first part of it goes like this. You can, I'll sing it and then you can sing it with me. It says, Christmas is such a happy time. Hear the bells ring. Can you sing that with me? Christmas is such a happy time. Hear the bells ring. And then the next part says, Christmas is Jesus' birthday. Be glad and sing. Can you sing that with me? Christmas is Jesus' birthday. Be glad and sing. So the whole thing goes like this. Christmas is such a happy time. Hear the bells ring. Christmas is such a happy... No, that was right. Wrong. Christmas is Jesus' birthday. Be glad and sing. Okay, we're going to do it one more time so Miss Sherry can get it right. Christmas is such a happy time. Hear the bells ring. Christmas is Jesus' birthday. Be glad and sing. All right, good job. We'll sing that again next week, too, every week. So then here's another song just about Christmas. It says, Christmas tells of Jesus, born so long ago. Can you sing that with me? Christmas tells of Jesus, born so long ago. And the next part says, Little baby Jesus, oh, I love him so. Can you sing little baby Jesus with me? Little baby Jesus, oh, I love him so. So here's how the whole thing goes. It says, Christmas tells of Jesus, born so long ago. Little baby Jesus, oh, I love him so. One more time. Christmas tells of Jesus, born so long ago. Little baby Jesus, oh, I love him so. Well, we have a Bible story about when Jesus, before Jesus was born, like what happened. So I have my Bible here. And today our Bible story comes from two different books in the Bible, one called Luke and one called Matthew. So Luke tells us that Mary was a young Jewish lady and she was planning to get married to a man named Joseph. Here's a, a figure of what Mary might have looked like. So um, they lived in a town called Nazareth. But before Jesus was born, one day Mary was so surprised because suddenly there was an angel 
standing next to her. This picture shows Mary and the angel named Gabriel. And Gabriel said, hello, you are so special to God. And Mary, she was kind of scared at first, but Gabriel said, don't be afraid. And he said, you are so special to God that God wants you, Mary, to be the mother of his son, to be Jesus's mom. And Gabriel told her that um, she was going to have a son and his name was going to be Jesus and that he would grow up to be a wonderful leader like a king and he would be called the son of God. So Mary said, how can this happen? She said, Joseph and I didn't even get married yet. And Gabriel told her, well, that's okay. You're going to have God's son. And he also told her that her older cousin, Elizabeth, was going to have a special baby. So after Gabriel left, Mary packed up some things. And then she went to visit Elizabeth in another town. And they were so happy to see each other. When Elizabeth... Um, saw Mary, she knew right away that Mary was going to be the mother of Jesus, God's son. And then Mary sang a beautiful song about God. And she stayed at Elizabeth's house for a little while, for some days. So then the Bible also tells us about Joseph. Joseph and Mary were going to get married. Here's how he might have looked. And this, the Bible, in the Bible, Matthew tells us that Joseph had a dream one night and the angel Gabriel came to talk to him and told him that Mary was going to have God's son and they should call him Jesus. So, Mary and Joseph got married and they just waited for Jesus to be born. They were busy. Joseph was a carpenter. He built things out of wood. So they were busy and just waiting, like we're waiting for Jesus to be born. So that's just some really good news for the whole world that Jesus was going to be born. Are you happy Jesus was going to be born? I am. So I know a song about good, the good news about Jesus was being going to be born. And with this song, every time I sing something, you sing it back to me. This song is called Good News. So it says, Good news, good news, good news, good news. Have you heard the good news? Have you heard the good news? An angel told Mary, an angel told Mary, Mary told Elizabeth, Mary told Elizabeth, Jesus was born. Jesus was born. We have heard the good news. We have heard the good news. That's a lot of words, but you just have to sing the same thing that I sang and sing it right back to me. So first it says good news a couple of times, and I'm going to play, I'm going to turn on some music for it. We'll see how that goes. Are you ready? I'll sing first. Jesus was born, 
Jesus was born. Good news, good news, good news, good news. We have heard the good news. We have heard the good news. All right, great. And then there's one more song I wanted us to sing today. You might know the tune to this. But um, these are different words. We'll see if we can figure out what the tune is. But it says, Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. Can you sing that with me? It says, Jesus came two times. Jesus came, Jesus came, and Jesus came to show. Sing all that with me. Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show. Then it says that he's God's son and he's the one. Sing that. But he's God's son and he's the one. God promised long ago. Can you say God promised long ago? Let's do that again. The whole thing, Jesus came, Jesus came. Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. And then we sing it again. Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. Let's do that song one more time. This is our last song for today. Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. Sometime at your house you might find some bells and jingle them along with that song. So I guess I'll do it right now, one the very last time. Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came to show that he's God's son and he's the one God promised long ago. All right, sometimes you might sing jingle bells to that song. Well, I am so glad that you got to join me today to learn the very first part of the Bible story about when Jesus was born on Christmas, the first Christmas ever. And so next week, we'll see what happened after Mary told Elizabeth and Joseph found out about it too. We'll see what happened next. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much that you loved us so much to send your son Jesus to us. We're glad that he was born on Christmas and so we can have, celebrate that on Christmas. We thank you for our church and for our families and for all of our many friends that we hope we get to see soon. And we, we're so glad that Jesus loves us too. Amen. See you next week.